white man up there and he's like confused looking out his window <laughs> you about to find out why <laughs> roll the oh clip <laughs> Man, this is a charity event, New Orleans. Yeah. This don't look like a charity event to me. Nah, that's what they, they exactly a charity event. I think that's a front. Yeah. Hey, man, why don't you close your legs? <laughs> you no, hey, dress hey, on. come on, man. This is the decorum you have to follow. <laughs> Casey, have you ever heard of the red dress run? You have? Have anybody on the panel? Okay, Marcus heard about it. Anybody else? Yeah, it's been going on for years in New Orleans. Okay, well, I'm going to go as ahead. As long as I can remember. Oh, He's living in New Orleans. Jesus Christ. Yeah. I actually oh, went to oh, Casey oh. Wedding and moved there. The Red Dress Run in New Orleans. Just in case you don't know about it, it happens every year on the second Saturday in August. The New Orleans Hash House Harriers, a local drinking club with a running problem, Host Red Dress Run, a charity run in the Crescent City. The run usually begins in French Quarter or Marigny neighborhoods of New Orleans. Although the exact location is only announced to those who register, the runners with drinks in the hand continue their route through the French Quarter and spend the rest of the day celebrating. Expect a sea of red throughout the neighborhood, even if running isn't your thing. Head down in the red to get, to get in on the fun. Participants in the Red Dress Run can sign up online on the official website. Registration usually includes donations to local charities, special live music, and beers for the run. Early bird pricing is available. You must be 21 or older to participate. There's an idea of how it looks. You guys have been in New Orleans. If you haven't, this is a great outlook. You see the people in the sea of red. Kind of looks like a little parade, right? Oh, yeah. Wait, what? 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 You know, a uh, few men, uh, like they participate in, as well in the, with the red dress. So, Casey, have you have you been around? You the pictures up. I'm gonna put some. Uh, I guess I got some other context, but Casey, uh, have you ever been around? Can you describe to us like what the atmosphere may be like? I've never heard of this. Uh, is, no, okay. it's been it's been going on for years. Um, I do know people who participate in it every year. Uh, people that I went to school with, um, Xavier, Tulane, Suno, UNO, LSU, Southern, Grambling, sexy, sexy Santana. Um, that I don't, I know this is, I think, the first year that I've seen it like be viral. It's been, it's definitely been something that I grew up seeing, uh, as long as I can remember, at least for the past like. 25 years I want to say I don't know how many years 20 years maybe mm -hmm. um but it I've no I've personally known it to be a more LGBTQ plus event um and and really have a lot of men in the red dresses um that's what I've always known it to be so when I saw it going viral I was like oh lord <laughs> But yeah, this has been going. This is not new. This has been going on every year. Okay. Yeah, I never heard of it, man. Viz sent me a little snippet of it. I'm just like, what is this? I yeah, no, it's not. It's not new. It's 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 got to be decades old. Got to be. All right. Mm -hmm. Anybody else want to add anything to it? Anybody knows about it? Like, and why you like you have some information about it? You you seen this I, before? I just seen Marcus in the back of the of the picture, man. I, that's the only thing. He was back there waving the red flag with the red dress on. That that was Sweeney with a Marcus mask, if anything. <laughs> Talking about, oh, they ain't gonna catch me. They 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 go they ain't gonna know it was me. Dreads blowing, dreads blowing in the wind and shit, hitting the bottom of your tutu while you skipping through the motherfucking streets. <laughs> Talking, taking Mardi Gras beads and shit and shimmying down the motherfucking uh French Quarter. Nah, nah, man. You know that. Was I you, think man. I we, think it's always been a way, them, man. We it's all been a way for them. men who are who are kind of like closeted or like not all the way out to be out on that day. Mm -hmm. And um, I can say that 
men that I know that are like would always participate in it are now like you know openly gay who maybe back when we were in college were like oh I'm doing this for charity and I'd be what? like Never. <laughs> right. it was just kind of like it was like a day for them to be you know free within their sexuality and like put on a dress and say it's all in the name of charity but um, yeah, I've, I've, and everybody I know, and all of the people that I know that have participated has always been like LGBTQ plus influence, like from the beginning. So, so yeah. is this like an inside joke? So the oh, the dudes who knew about it knew, and if you didn't know, you didn't know, or like, Mm-mm. I think it's always been known. Yeah, it's always been known. You so mean like you, somebody you, what, participating? What's it- no, because you said some cats was talking about they was doing it for charity, but I, I, no, mean, saying, I like, do a lot of things we for charity, younger, but why would you choose that? That's, a, that's yeah, crazy. Because, I mean, okay, so everything in Louisiana is based around drinking. <laughs> um, and so people would make it seem like, oh, it's just like a day to like have fun and be be funny, be funny and put on a okay, dress. nothing funny about that. Right, and but all the people that would participate in that are open sexually or full blown, you know, it was a part of that community. So everybody that I've known that's always participated in it are a part of that community. So I think it's just kind of been like a known thing. It's just not on the verbiage that LaPeep just read. So what's, what's, what's the ratio for men to women participating in this? It's more, I think roughly. it's more, it's, it's gotta be 70% men. It's gotta be. Gotta be 70%. 70%. I got another clip I'm gonna play and then I'm gonna get to some more folks. A white man up there and he's like confused looking out his window. (laughs) You about to find out why. (laughs) Roll the clip. (laughs) This is a charity event, New Orleans. Yeah. This don't look like a charity event to me. Nah, that's what they, they, exactly a charity event. I think that's a front. Yeah. Hey man, would you close your legs? <laughs> you no. Hey, dress JR, on. come on, man. This is the decorum you have to follow. <laughs> Got some sheets going. Yeah, man, you you go. the cowboy back there. Why is all the big people sitting down drinking something? Watch it, baby. <laughs> got his tongue action going. Man, you see all the big people that got be drinking from. Keep it going. Keep it going. Right, and people people fly in town for this. People fly in town. Just like they fly in town from Mardi Gras, they fly in town. Hello. Hey. This nigga got a rent. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is good for these. <laughs> you got a ballerina dress on. What the oh, fuck is going there. on here? Oh, somebody Is that leopard print? Like that. That's a patron right there. That's a patron right there. It's a red socks with a black flop for me. Oh, wait, was yeah, that, that one? Yeah. Look at him, dude. He's mad as hell. Yeah. <laughs> hey, that, that's the Democratic <laughs> National Convention. That's the whole Democratic voting oh, base right there. Oh, that's Republican. <laughs> That's, no, that's the whole DMC. I'm just wondering why it went, I guess I think it went viral because of the whole mate in the bro, car. Why, hold on, why he didn't, why he didn't leave that with that? Situation. Like, why he had to try to... Yeah, I think it's the, 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 the Mason so thing. Because I'm like, why did it go viral this year? It's, it's literally been big every single year. Every year. Black folks had to, to, to try to do it all. Try to outdo the white folks or whatever the first image we looked at. Like, it's just crazy. <laughs> <laughs> how, how much contrast is between the two? Like, that nigga had a right. Jersey jersey. You on, you would always a you could, you could almost. I mean, looking at them, you can almost look at it and be like, okay, 
somebody straight probably put on a red giant to for some cancer foundation or some shit. But then when you look at the black people and like, oh y'all, them motherfuckers is just... <laughs> Niggas is all the, way in. The, the, bro- the brothers was out repping, is it? But that looked like a, like it was sectioned off. Is that how it go? Like they got certain parts of it that's like. Well, you know, Bourbon Street can in the French Quarter can get segregated. So. Got it. You know, yeah. You go too far down. I didn't even know tree. that. You ever been? To oh yeah, 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 yeah. I'm definitely not going now. Yep. But, um, no, that, that has nothing Gras. to do with Mardi Gras. I don't even try it. <laughs> No, nah, yeah, Mardi Gras. You know how Tracy, you know how on the uh, on the map, <laughs> Bourbon Street, you know how on Bourbon Street, if you go too far down Bourbon you go Street, too far down, yeah, yeah, that's what that looked like. They, you start seeing, you start seeing the rainbow flag. Hold on, you done been down this week? Nah, man. Well, I've been a, I've been to New Orleans, but my uh, but yeah, there's a oh, yeah. real this story falling apart like a motherfucker talking about it was me you seen down here. Look, nigga, you heard this story hey, falling hey, apart. No, look, you, no, what you heard though? You hey, look, right. Marcus, Marcus right. said, you Marcus, walk, you, you, had one of the the GPS, huh? you cross that intersection, you in a whole nother world. Yeah, you better stop whole... using. You better stop using ways, nigga. You better use eye maps. <laughs> You're like, this is red line in real hey, life. Marcus, how you know the how you know it was a nigga out there in the tutu though? Uh, I seen him in the video. A white man I seen the video. Already. Already. He's like the videos. His- the videos are going viral. Let me tell you. Let me tell y'all. Let me tell y'all. Let me tell y'all what that white dude really doing up there. Well, oh, <laughs> oh hell no! Nah. Is it show the movie? <laughs> bro, come on, bro, come on, bruiser. <laughs> bro, what are y'all talking about? Wait, y'all nasty. You know that? I wasn't talking about that. Bro, what you got on this? <laughs> Wait up, Bruiser. What are we talking about? Hey, Bruiser, you know what saying I thought of when you said what that shit? What are you talking about? You remember, you remember on the Lonely yeah, Star <laughs> when they caught, when they recorded old boy kissing the gay dude in the uh, in the uh, shower? The Hispanic oh, yeah. dude. That was, yeah, that's the old white man up there like, I promise I won't stop. <laughs> I thought you was about to say that Key and Peel uh, Key and Peel episode with a dude, the detective The you know fact that about? he caught that, I know he he about to get a hundred million views. He the fact that he got that. that. I don't know about the views. <laughs> this is priceless, dog. <laughs> oh, that is his worst nightmare ever. I promise you, worst you nightmare ever for so many reasons. He could not stand what he's seeing right now, and he lives there. This go. Uh, hope, uh, well, hopefully, he's renting it. But if he lives there, oh man, he probably like, what in the Willie Lynch did we do? <laughs> no, he looks too surprised. He's definitely visiting. <laughs> but he must have just moved to New Orleans because, like I said, it's been going on for decades. So he hey, must he must have no idea. Nah, he looks like, like he ain't seen that shit before. I don't, I don't know about the '90s because I wasn't going to. He's been around like longer than you know? all the motherfuckers I mean, out I was the street. Not he ain't never seen that shit. You know, my parents didn't let me. I wasn't going by myself to see certain things, but I know yeah. as long as I've been like college age and been an adult, there's been the red dress yeah. run every single year, and I in know 90, tons of people the, who have. In the '80s and the '90s, I only seen four. Openly gay people in my life that whole block of time. It was just like four of them. Hey, you know what those yeah. you know all those people were? Y'all want to know what all those people in that crowd were? Blaming motherfuckers who fall asleep in the courtroom. <clears throat> oh, that was corny. I thought. Good night, man. Sweeney. Boo. Good night. Go to sleep. 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 Hey, no, nah, y'all don't get to laugh at this, they boo.